and in today's session of manufacturing technology we are going to discuss on some special welding processes and gas cutting and arc cutting and also electrode cutting right so let us start our discussion on various special welding processes so in the metal joining processes we have been going through different arc welding resistance welding and today we are going to discuss on different special welding processes so in the welding process our purpose is to join two plates together right so the a welding process heat is generated which heat can be utilized for joining of two metals or two plates right so in the welding process there are few processes which can be categorized under special welding processes so let us start our discussion on the type of processes that is known as a special welding processes so here i mention the different processes for special welding category right so here i mention the ultrasonic welding explosive welding and also friction welding right so these processes are considered as a special welding process right so here thermic welding is also mentioned under category of special welding process so here let us start our discussion with explosive welding process so explosive welding it is the process which is considered as a special welding process right so what happens in explosive welding as per the name here explosion takes place and with help of this explosion we can have a heat generated and this heat can be utilized for joining of two plates once again i repeat what happens here due to explosion and due to sudden striking between two plates heat is generated right so let us start our discussion in that for explosive welding or say explosion welding so as per my discussion here what happens for example we want to or we want to do a welding between two plates what happens one plate remains stand and another plate is striking on a plate or say another plate is striking on the base plate with high velocity and with help of this high velocity striking what happens heat is generated and with help of this wheel heat we can weld two plates together right so how the heat is generated and how the flyer plate or how another plate is striking on the base plate let's have a look right so here i mention one image or principal figure for explosive welding so there is one base plate on which another plate is known as a flyer plate right so flyer plate and base plate our purpose is to join two plates one is the base plate another is a flyer plate right so flyer plate is traveling or striking on the base plate with certain angle and very high velocity so with help of this high velocity strike on the base plate heat is generated right so there is one question how can we make this setup or how can we make the flyer plate striking on the base plate right so here detonators are used or say explosive powder is used right so with help of detonator and explosive powders we can generate the high acceleration and striking force and with help of this force we can weld two plates together right so let's have one video here i mentioned one video and from this video we can have a idea on explosive welding right so here base plate is mentioned flyer plate is also there as mentioned in this video and above which a uh, burning powder or say detonators are placed right with help of burning and this uh, combustion of the powder what happens here the another plate or say flyer plate is 
strike with the base plate with help of this striking and with help of this sudden pressure both plates can be welded together right so as mentioned in this video both plates can be welded with each other right so this is the principle of explosive welding so after explosive welding here i mentioned the ultrasonic welding so what is the principle for ultrasonic welding so ultrasonic frequency means it is a frequency which is greater than 20000 hertz right so here i mentioned ultrasonic frequency range and principle for ultrasonic welding as per the name here ultrasonic range frequency is used so what happens here with help of ultrasonic frequency vibration heat is generated and with help of this heat we can weld or we can join two parts together right so once again i repeat here principle is very simple ultrasonic principle is used it means high frequency vibration is used for generating the heat right so here please note one point the frequency should be greater than 20000 hertz that is in ultrasonic range right so let's have a look i have one video on ultrasonic welding process so let's have a video on ultrasonic process so here if our purpose is to join two wires to work this together we place or we put two wires edge by edge and then high frequency vibration is generated and heat is generated between the base and the upper part right that is known as a an angling right so here heat is generated and with help of this heat we can weld two parts together right so this is the principle for ultrasonic welding here i mentioned the friction welding process that yes. uh this is also one special welding process so what happens in friction welding here i mentioned the concept for friction welding process so in the friction welding as per the name heat is generated with help of friction and this frictional heat is utilized to join two parts together right so as per the name friction is used for generating the heat so how can we generate the friction by rubbing of two parts friction is generated and this friction can be utilized for joining of two rods or two parts together right once again i repeat in the friction welding friction is useful right so here i mentioned the important view and the characteristic figure principle for friction welding process so here as mentioned in this figure heat is generated by rubbing of two parts right so how can we do the friction welding let's have a look on friction welding right so here our purpose is to produce the rubbing motion between two parts to be welded right so here i have one video and let's have a look on this video here our purpose is to join two rods or two parts or two shafts together so how can we do the welding of two shafts so high rpm rotation or high rotation is making with help of this job so one part or one rod is steady and another ball is rotating with the high rpm and with help of the rubbing motion and with help of contact between the relative motion and relative rubbing motion what happens heat is generated as shown in this video and with help of this heat you can join two rods together so this is the concept for friction welding process right so here i mentioned in this video as shown in this video both parts can be welded or can be joined easily with help of this friction welding right so this is very simple concept in which heat is generated by rubbing motion or say by friction right so this is a concept for friction welding next here i mention the thermic welding process so this process of welding is 
very useful in maintenance of railway tracks. So this process is known as a thermid welding. It is a special welding process, and this process is used for maintenance or joining of railway tracks in case of any failure, right? So it is known as a thermid welding. So here. Aluminium is used and here iron oxide is used, right? So here mixture that is called as or known as thermic mixture, which is nothing but iron oxide that is in around 78 percentage and aluminium that is 22 percentage, right? So this mixture is used. So how can we do thermic welding process? Let's decide or let's have a look on the setup. So, how can we decide the thermit welding process or how the setup of thermit welding looks like? So, let's start our discussion on this. So, here I mentioned the principal points regarding the thermit welding process. So, here as per our discussion, the mixture of aluminium and iron oxide is used, right? So, with help of the chemical reaction, it is the exothermic process it means heat is generated with help of this process right so here with help of exothermic reaction as mentioned here heat is generated right so how can we put our setup and how can we do the welding between two railway tracks let's have a look on thermic welding setup so here both tracks are ready to be joined whole setup is set like this here in one steel box there is a thermit mixture so we fill the thermit mixture with some peroxide powder after that burning takes place and with help of this burning what happens heat is generated and our mixture is converted in the liquid mixture or liquid matter that is known as a molten matter. As per our chemical reaction here, aluminium oxide and iron is formed. So liquid iron is formed here and aluminium oxide acts as a slag which is having a lower density. Right? So with help of heat generated and we have a liquid iron that is to be filled between two railway tracks. Right? So liquid iron is filled between two railway tracks where our welding is done. Right? So after that and after some time cooling and solidification, our two tracks can be joined easily. So after thermal welding process, here I mentioned the gas cutting. So what happens in gas cutting? As per the name here, gas welding process or say gas Welding process is also utilized or used as a gas cutting. So welding process is also utilized as a cutting process. So here I mentioned the important figure for gas cutting. So here cutting torch is used. So instead of welding torch here cutting torch is used. So what is cutting torch? It is similar as a welding torch but here one oxygen trigger is applied or say oxygen trigger is available. So what is the function of oxygen trigger? So here I mentioned the important points regarding the gas cutting. So it is very similar as a gas welding but here only one thing is added and that is oxygen blast trigger. Right? So here, so when we are doing the welding of two plates, heat is generated, right? But when we apply the excessive oxygen, what happens? Due to excessive oxygen supply, the heat generated is very high. And with help of this, we can cut two parts. So we can cut one plate into two parts and that is nothing but cutting process, right? So here, with help of oxygen trigger or blast oxygen trigger, we can cut plate into two parts, right? So what is the function of oxygen blast trigger? So here excessive oxygen supply is start with help of the trigger or seven switch and due to this oxide formation, what happens? Our plate can be cut or divided into two 
parts that is known as a cutting right so this is all about the gas cutting process right so which is very similar principle as the gas welding but one thing is additional and that is a oxygen excessive oxygen supply or say blast trigger right so next let's have a look on arc cutting so what do we mean by arc cutting so arc welding setup is you is used for cutting also right so in the arc cutting what happens arc welding setup is used but by setting the parameter we can do the cutting so here i mentioned the important point regarding the arc cutting right so with help of excessive current and with help of varying the parameter we can do the cutting with help of arc welding set right so what do we mean by electrode coating so electrode coating is the but additional layer around the electrode right so what is the purpose of coating so with help of coating we can have some additional features which are very important during the welding process right so with burning of this material of coating we can have a shielding gases right we can have a flux so by burning of some uh, important material that is applied on the coating we can generate the shielding gas as well as flux right so electrode coating is very useful and that and this coating can be available in form of 1 mm or 2 mm surrounding of electrode right so here i mentioned the purpose of electrode coating and also function of electrode coating so with help of flux as per my discussion slag is uh, generated or slag is produced and this slag is nothing but it is the impurities right so impurities of uh, during the welding process can be removed in form of slag so all this important thing is available in the coating or say electrode coating right so here i mentioned the different purpose or say advantages for applying the electrode coating right so here i mentioned the important ingredients or constituents of electrode coating right so different coatings are available like butyl coating iron oxide coating etc right so here i mentioned the image for electrode coating so with help of coating we can have some additional properties during the welding which is very useful right so this is all about the different special welding processes and electrode coating and gas and arc cutting thank you all